Okay, so I do love the feel of the Lamy on this screen, but let's put that aside for a second. All right, how do we customize our screensaver? So two stages, let me just uh, go to the next page and just write this. There's two stages. One is you must transfer the PNG file. Um, uh, now you can do it many ways. I'm just gonna, I've showed you how to do it via Books Drop. So I'm just gonna stick with that one. And number two is then you come in here onto your machine. I'm gonna make this a little thinner because it's very thick and it's taking up a lot of space. And then on your tablet, you assign the image to whichever one you want. You've got a choice of two. The power off screen is called the power off screen and the screensaver is, is the on screen. All right, so this is Bookstrop. Um, and let me... Let me just come over here so I'm only on one, one screen. And as you can see, I've uploaded some files. So you can only see uh, so far down, I think. Um, now, in my library, I've uploaded PDFs. This is the place for books and PDFs and hyperlink planners. This is where you can do your planning from. And in images, these are your PNG files, right? And just, we're not going to do that. In this video but I'll show you in internal storage if you go to note template folder you can upload PNGs so easy to do <laughs> you can upload PNGs and use them on your books um, as a template underneath super simple super easy but I just wanted to show you how to get um, I think we'll put we'll put happy the the daisies like I'll just show you I don't know if I can double click no yeah, you can see it. You can sort of, you can see it there. They're, they're daisies. I've called it happy. So now I'm going to take you over um, to my Books tablet and I will show you how to assign it so that you can use it as a start screen. Because currently I've got my puppies down here. Um, and I will show you that in just a second. So let's go over to the Books tab Mini C. So let's go there now. I'm using the gestures. I've worked out I like the gestures. So I'm going up through the middle gets me. And, and you have to press harder than you do on the Remarkable if you're used to that. I'm always saying tissue paper, tissue paper. You have to sort of press like you would normally think to press. All right. Now down here, this little icon is the files tab. And then images. In here, you can see you've got documents, images, music, video, uh, download, Bluetooth. I don't know what APK is and fonts. Oh, I'm looking forward to that one. I also want some pens, but I haven't worked out whether I can have those yet. I go into images and you can see the ones I showed you on my desktop. They're all in here. And this is the one, it was called Happy on my desktop. I'm not sure why it's called Daisies here. <laughs> but... Um, Never mind, That's we don't need to worry about that. Do a long press, one, two, two seconds, and you get all the options coming up, right? What we want to do is we want to set as, and we get the two options that we talked about. Screensaver is when you turn it on. Power off is when you turn it off, and I'll show you both now. So we'll set it as the screensaver. Successfully set as a screensaver. Now I can show you that quickly because there it is. Look at that. And it was the two puppies before. Um, now I can just come back here and I'll show you. I will do one more. Let me do, I love spa day. I haven't put them all on here yet, but let's do spa day because it just, it just feels more relaxing, don't you think? <laughs> all right, okay. And then when you tap it to put it into standby mode, you can see spa day is there. So it's as easy as that. And now we'll do the other one. I've got I've currently got coffee on there, this one. But 
I'm going to put this little puppy here, long press, set as, power off image. So this is going to take a little longer. We're going to do it for eight seconds and see if we get that option. One, two, ah, look at that. So we're going to go power off. Let's see what happens. See if there, there, look. So beautiful. So one click puts it in standby mode. Holding for two seconds puts it in, you get the option of what you want to do. You're beautiful. So then let's see if I do one click, will it turn back on again? No, because we're not in standby mode. We're off. So now I've been using three seconds to turn it on again. One, two, three. Yep. Three seconds to turn it on. And it should come back with our spa day. Um, oh, actually, I think it'll put us straight into the, onto the tablet. So I will check. Now that's a different screen. That's not the standby screen. Um, and I haven't seen an option to change that one. But this should be spa day. There it is. So you can customize very quickly and easily on your books. Again, you need two stages. Uh, let me go there. Use bootstrap first and let's use the marker pen. Now, mm, I won't use the marker pen. You know why? Because it doesn't put the shading behind the word. It puts it in front. So that's not going to, that's not going to be very good. You go to bootstrap on your computer first and then you go to your tablet and you go into folders and images. You do a long press and like I showed you, go to folders, images, pick, pick your one, set as, I'm going to go screensaver because that's the one I want. And when it's done, one click standby mode, all done. Any love on the channel is always appreciated. Like, subscribe, comment would be great. And I have an Etsy shop. You're welcome to come and purchase. Um, these sets are all um, sets of uh, themed PNG files specifically for customising um, e-ink tablets or, or even your iPad if you wanted to. All right, I'm going. Bye.